What's going on, guys? Joe here, back again today uh, with some Best Buy pickups. Now, I know this isn't going to be a big lot video, uh, Epic Haul uh, or Blu-ray Maniac video like uh, my buddy uh, Chad over at uh, WrestleManiac1130 or the Visual Maniacs uh, or whatever he's calling himself, the Blu-ray Maniac. He's got so many, you know, names. But I want to give him a shout out, so I'm gonna put his link down in the description box. Make sure you head on over there and check out his stuff. He does a really good uh, Best Buy uh, uh, trade and save. I was getting ready to say play and trade, uh, play and yeah, play and trade. But um, yeah, so like I was saying, go over there and check his stuff out. Really good stuff. And I uh, went to Best Buy because I had two gift certificates. Uh, one for ten dollars and another one for five dollars, and I was really looking to increase my Blu-ray collection. I only got four Blu-rays here, but I'm going to be doing more Blu-rays uh, over the next several months. Uh, I'm going to be going and picking up some Blu-rays. Uh, you know, I was really surprised that Blu-rays have really dropped substantially. You used to be able to get a DVD for twenty and blue the you know, and then that same movie on Blu-ray for twenty-five. Then they dropped them down to twenty for the single disc. Then you got the the then you would get the Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy for twenty five. Now it's you know they're mixing it up a little bit, and now you get the Blu-ray for twenty, and you can still get the digital copy for twenty, uh, digital DVD and Blu-ray for twenty five. But sometimes they run the promotion where if it's a new release, you'll get the uh, you'll get the combo pack. Uh, all at once uh, for 20 bucks, so it's actually pretty cool. Um, I went there and I got $40 worth of Blu-rays for only 23 bucks, which is not bad. And um, yeah, so I'll give you guys a quick glimpse. Uh, if you guys are looking to get really cheap Blu-rays and really at really good up, uh, uh, really good price Blu-rays for really good movies, check out your local Best Buy. I know my Best Buy had great Blu-rays ranging from 4.99 all the way to 29.99. They also have the new season of True Blood on sale for uh, $24.99 on Blu-ray. So, complete fifth season. So, if you guys are interested in looking at that, might want to go check that out. And they also have Blu-ray seasons of Dexter for $14.99. So, you may want to go check that out as well. Um, Universal is running a promotion. On all Universal movies, you get $8 Fandango cash to go see Fast and Furious 6. So, I jumped all over that and I got a couple of Universal movies. Uh, Universal Pictures, so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, I've been really wanting to complete the collection, so uh, I just got to go and get Fast and Furious, Fast and Furious 4, um, because I have it loose, and my uh, my nephew destroyed the case on me, so yeah, but I'm going to buy that again. But the first one is Fast and the Furious, the original, the one that started it all. This comes with $8 Fandango cash, as you can see right there. You got to continue the Fast and Furious. You got Too Fast, Too Furious, which I actually liked. Tokyo Drift, with a lot of people really hated, because you had so many. Um, you had the introduction of Han, and a lot of people were wondering, well, what the fuck is this movie about? You know, there's no connection to the original, uh, the first two, uh, character main characters, Brian and Dom. Uh, then Dom makes an appearance at the very end of this movie after Han passed away. And uh, he races Sean, and he goes, I don't, Sean goes, I didn't know Han was into American Muscle. Dom replies, he was when he was rolling with me. And um, they had to go and explain Han's backstory with Dom in Fast and Furious 4, Fast 5, Fast 6. And if Han is in Fast and Furious 7, then in chronological order, if you wanted to follow the story uh, out of order, it would go Fast and the Furious, the first one. Too Fast, Too Furious, Fast and Furious 4, Fast 5, Fast and Furious 6, then Fast and Furious 7. Then it would go Tokyo Drip. So that way you close the gap and you understand the story. Uh, now, uh, this was actually a blind buy, as they call it. Uh, I got this because I was really a big fan of the game when I grew up. My brother played it a lot on the first PlayStation and on the computer. And they've been showing this movie a lot over the last couple of weeks on Sci-Fi and on FX. So I pick, figure I'd pick it up. I'm a big fan of Carl Urban. And you guys know I'm a wrestling fan, so I'm a big Dwayne Johnson fan. And I am talking about Doom. This is the unrated extended edition. Uh, also, the really cool thing was 
All the Fast and the Furious movies are $9.99. And this comes with the Blu-ray, digital, and ultraviolet copies. So if you guys are looking to close your Fast and Furious collection and you want to you wanna get the Fast and the Furious collection done and you want to go see the movie, buy the movies, then you can go see, you figure, you got so far there's five movies out. Friday releases the sixth film. You could go and buy all the Fast and the Furious movies and go see Fast and Furious 6 five times. That's a big-ass bargain for you, ladies and gentlemen. So, I am going to redeem these codes, and I am going to go and see Fast and Furious this weekend. I will be doing a review of it. So, guys, make sure you check back here on F and True Entertainment. Please check out WrestleManiac and the Visual Maniacs. I'll put the links to the, their channels in the description box. Make sure you head on over and uh, check their content out. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.